Part one. Listen and look. There is one example. This is a great photo of the station, Dad. Yes. Well, the eight thirty-five city train was late. We had to wait on the platform for an hour. Oh, who's that person? The one who's reading a newspaper. By the bin. That's George. I often sit next to him on our journey to work. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Do you know that man, the one in the uniform? Yes, his first name's Harry, but I don't know his surname. He gave us the information we needed about our train. That's good. Yes, he's pointing to the timetable on the screen. One person sitting on their suitcase. That's right. Her name's Katie. I love her sunglasses. Do you? She goes to college in the city. She wants to be a designer, of clothes, I mean. Great. And who's the person under the umbrella? The one reading their e-book. No. The one on the left. Her name's Sophia. She's a very clever businesswoman. Who's the man with the little girl? Oh, is it Richard? No, let me think. It's Robert. Yes, that's right. That's his daughter in the spotted coat. You know lots of people, don't you? Well, most of them catch the same train as me each day. I know that woman too, the one with her hands in her pockets. How do you know her? Well, she works in my office building. She's called Emma. Her bag's enormous. She carries a laptop in it. I think it's really heavy. So do I. Now listen to part one again. Do you know that man, the one in the uniform? Yes, his first name's Harry, but I don't know his surname. He gave us the information we needed about our train. That's good. Yes. He's pointing to the timetable on the screen. One person sitting on their suitcase. That's right. Her name's Katie. I love her sunglasses. Do you? She goes to college in the city. She wants to be a designer, of clothes, I mean. Great. And who's the person under the umbrella? The one reading their e-book. No, the one on the left. Her name's Sophia. She's a very clever businesswoman. Who's the man with the little girl? Oh, is it Richard? No, let me think. It's Robert. Yes, that's right. That's his daughter in the spotted coat. You know lots of people, don't you? Well, most of them catch the same train as me each day. I know that woman too, the one with her hands in her pockets. How do you know her? Well, she works in my office building. She's called Emma. Her bag's enormous. She carries a laptop in it. I think it's really heavy. So do I. That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, Zoe. 
I'm so happy to meet you. You're my favorite pop star. Can you answer some of my questions for me? I like to write about you in our school magazine. Of course. When did you have your first singing lesson? My parents knew that I was quite good at singing, so when I was 10, they decided to find me a teacher. I loved having lessons with her. That's amazing. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Which is your favorite song? The one that's called Winter. That's the one that I like best. Oh, I always think of snow when I hear that. <laughs> so do I. And where do you enjoy singing best? At theaters? When I'm not practicing, I love singing at festivals most of all. I've been to two of those. Great. Have you got a manager? Yes. He's wonderful. He's looked after me very well for the last two years. What's his name? Michael Sparks. You spell that S-P-A-R-K-S. Thanks. Do you eat or drink anything special before you go on to the stage? Like water, perhaps? Well, I always have some honey. It helps me a lot with my singing. And what do you like wearing most? That white jacket is brilliant. It is nice, but the answer to your question is my necklace. I always put that on. It's really lovely. Thank you, but I must go now. Sorry. That's okay. Thanks for answering my questions. Now listen to part two again. Which is your favorite song? The one that's called Winter. That's the one that I like best. Oh, I always think of snow when I hear that. <laughs> so do I. And where do you enjoy singing best? At theaters? When I'm not practicing, I love singing at festivals most of all. I've been to two of those. Great. Have you got a manager? Yes. He's wonderful. He's looked after me very well for the last two years. What's his name? Michael Sparks. You spell that S-P-A-R-K-S. Thanks. Do you eat or drink anything special before you go on to the stage? Like water, perhaps? Well, I always have some honey. It helps me a lot with my singing. And what do you like wearing most? That white jacket is brilliant. It is nice, but the answer to your question is my necklace. I always put that on. It's really lovely. Thank you, but I must go now. Sorry. That's okay. Thanks for answering my questions. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. Frank's mother was in the city today. Where did she see each thing? Hi, Mum. You look tired. Hello, Frank. Yes, I am. I had to do lots of walking in the city today. Did you see any of those new taxis? I know you're interested in those. Yes. I saw one when I walked past the police station. Great. 
Can you see the letter G? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. I saw someone riding a really cool bicycle as well. A racing bike? I don't know, but it looked very expensive. I was outside the post office when they rode past on that. Did you take a photo of it on your phone? No, Frank. I was too busy to do that. And a fire engine raced past me too this morning. Where was it going? I didn't see. Well, perhaps we'll hear something about it on the news. Yes, I'm trying to think where I was. I wasn't very near the fire station. Oh, I remember. I was going past the shoe factory. I'm doing a project on rockets. Well, I saw one of those too today. I don't believe you, Mum. I did. There's one by the entrance to the sports stadium. Not one that can really fly? No, it's a kind of model, I think. There was also an ambulance in one of the streets, but it wasn't moving. The driver was having his lunch. In a restaurant? No, he was sitting in the driver's seat. And where were you? By that tall hotel, the one on the corner of Bridge Street. And, oh, Frank, I saw a spaceship. Mum, now you're being silly. No, listen. I had to go to the fire station to give someone there a letter. And, no, wait, it was later in the afternoon than that. I know. I was walking past the castle. Yes. And I saw a picture of one on a bus. <laughs> <laughs> now listen to part three again. I saw someone riding a really cool bicycle as well. A racing bike? I don't know, but it looked very expensive. I was outside the post office when they rode past on that. Did you take a photo of it on your phone? No, Frank. I was too busy to do that. And a fire engine raced past me too this morning. Where was it going? I didn't see. Well, perhaps we'll hear something about it on the news. Yes, I'm trying to think where I was. I wasn't very near the fire station. Oh, I remember. I was going past the shoe factory. I'm doing a project on rockets. Well, I saw one of those too today. I don't believe you, Mum. I did. There's one by the entrance to the sports stadium. Not one that can really fly? No, it's a kind of model, I think. There was also an ambulance in one of the streets, but it wasn't moving. The driver was having his lunch. In a restaurant? No, he was sitting in the driver's seat. And where were you? By that tall hotel, the one on the corner of Bridge Street. And, oh, Frank, I saw a spaceship. Mum, now you're being silly. No, listen. I had to go to the fire station to give someone there a letter. And, no, wait, it was later in the afternoon than that. I know, I was walking past the castle. Yes. And I saw a picture of one on a bus. <laughs> <laughs> that is the end of part three. Part 4. Listen and look. There is one example. What time will Oliver arrive at his cousin's house? OK, Oliver. 
It's a quarter to five. You need to get the bus soon. Are you nearly ready? Not quite. What time will I arrive at my cousin's house, Mom? Five thirty? No. You'll get to his house at a quarter past six. Okay. Thanks. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. What does Oliver hope to do? I hope it'll be fun there, but I don't want to camp in the garden again. No, I remember. You didn't enjoy that. But you can play chess every evening. That sounds a bit boring, Mom. Actually, I'm really hoping I can watch Cousin David's volleyball team again. Oh, I'm sure your aunt will take you to see that. Two. What has Oliver not found yet? So, have you got everything? I found my trainers. That's good. You'll need those. What about your favorite belt? I still haven't found that yet, but I've got my new pajamas. Right. Three. Which homework will Oliver take? I've got to take some homework with me, but I don't mind. For which subject? More math? That's right. I have already finished my geography. Good. And did you find the information for your science work? Yes, I did an online search, and I got everything that I needed. Four. What must Oliver remember to take? I've got my walking socks. Well done, that's good. Have you remembered to put a bandage in your bag? Why should I take one of those? Because your elbow might get sore again if you play lots of tennis. Okay. Oh, and I've got my new diary. Five. Who must Oliver send a message to? Now, the last thing. You've got your phone. Please use it. What do you mean? Shall I send you text messages, Mom? If you like, but it's more important to send one to your grandfather. Okay. I'll tell him all about my adventures with cousin David. Excellent. Now listen to part four again. One. What does Oliver hope to do? I hope it'll be fun there, but I don't want to camp in the garden again. No, I remember. You didn't enjoy that, but you can play chess every evening. That sounds a bit boring, Mom. Actually, I'm really hoping I can watch Cousin David's volleyball team again. Oh, I'm sure your aunt will take you to see that. Two. What has Oliver not found yet? So, have you got everything? I found my trainers. That's good. You'll need those. What about your favorite belt? I still haven't found that yet, but I've got my new pajamas. Right. Three. Which homework will Oliver take? I've got to take some homework with me, but I don't mind. For which subject? More math? 
That's right. I have already finished my geography. Good. And did you find the information for your science work? Yes, I did an online search, and I got everything that I needed. Four. What must Oliver remember to take? I've got my walking socks. Well done. That's good. Have you remembered to put a bandage in your bag? Why should I take one of those? Because your elbow might get sore again if you play lots of tennis. Okay. Oh, and I've got my new diary. Five. Who must Oliver send a message to? Now, the last thing. You've got your phone. Please use it. What do you mean? Shall I send you text messages, Mom? If you like, but it's more important to send one to your grandfather. Okay, I'll tell him all about my adventures with Cousin David. Excellent. That is the end of part four. Part five. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. Wow, this boy is having fun. He's playing computer games. Would you like to colour some of the picture? Sure. Can I colour the big cushion that the boy's sitting on? All right. Let's make it pink. Cool. That looks great, doesn't it? Can you see the pink cushion? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and write. One. What's next? How about the boy's backpack? Could I colour the one that's under the chair? If you want. Use blue for that. OK. I've got that colour. There. I've done that. Two. Would you like to colour the racing car as well? All right. Do you mean the one on the floor? No, the one on the screen. Colour that one instead, please. OK, fine. Can I choose the colour this time? Yes. Then I'll make that purple. Three. This picture needs some writing too. Can I write a name on the largest drum? Yes. What's a good name for a boy's band? Ocean? No. How about tunes? I mean, that's another word for music, isn't it? Yes, it is. OK, write that name there. Four. Actually, I want you to write something else here as well. There's a poster on the wall opposite the boy. It's above the shelf. Can you see it? Yes, but I can't see all of it. Don't worry about that. Just write August after the number 16 there, please. OK. So that's the date? Yes, that's when he went to a festival and bought that poster.
five. Perhaps you should colour that comic too. The one that's half on and half off the rug. Yes, please. Let's think. How about yellow for that? No problem. It won't take much time to colour that. Good. You finished now. Well done. Now listen to part five again. One. What's next? How about the boy's backpack? Could I colour the one that's under the chair? If you want, use blue for that. Okay, I've got that colour. There, I've done that. Two. Would you like to colour the racing car as well? All right. Do you mean the one on the floor? No, the one on the screen. Colour that one instead, please. Okay, fine. Can I choose the colour this time? Yes. Then I'll make that purple. Three. This picture needs some writing too. Can I write a name on the largest drum? Yes. What's a good name for a boys' band? Ocean. No. How about tunes? I mean, that's another word for music, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, write that name there. Actually, I want you to write something else here as well. There's a poster on the wall opposite the boy. It's above the shelf. Can you see it? Yes, but I can't see all of it. Don't worry about that. Just write August after the number sixteen there, please. Okay. So that's the date. Yes, that's when he went to a festival and bought that poster. Five. Perhaps you should colour that comic too. The one that's half on and half off the rug. Yes, please. Let's think. How about yellow for that? No problem. It won't take much time to colour that. Good. You finished now. Well done. That is the end of the flyers' listening test.